everyone. Well, I was contemplating which channel to unbox this particular item on. Should I do it on iBasic or should I do it on Roger's Bits and Doings? I can't do it on Roger's Box of Delights, that's for sure. But I've decided, as you can see, to do it on my main channel because it comes under the genre of housekeeping, cleaning, laundry. I've done washing machines, I've done dishwashers, I've done an iron. This is a press. Right, I've actually found my safety box cutter. I put it somewhere safe. So safe that I'd lost it. Right, that's Daisy's bottom. You're going to move. And Molly is just off camera too for change. She must know that there's not a vacuum in here. This is an Elner press. Now I've been contemplating buying one of these presses because I had fond memories of my mum having one in the 70s, from the 70s onwards. And I've been looking at the one they sell on Ideal World, um, a fast press one, and I've been looking at a Singer steam press. And they cost around £200 and I thought, oh, it's a lot of money to spend on something that you know, I don't iron, so what's the point? Anyway, I saw this on eBay. I put in a lower offer than they wanted, and I got it for £45 delivered. And I thought it'd be nice to look at because it's an Elna Press from my childhood, and it's a lot cheaper than a new one. And I'm hoping it works, it should do. They've packed it well. Oh, dearie me. That's oh, out of the way, Molly. You'll get uh, squashed. Squashed by the box. Well, I'm glad I found my box cutter. Don't know which way up it's going to be. I'm not sure if I've got it upside down. So, Elna are still going as a company. I think they also make sewing machines. This and I believe they still are, I'm not sure, but this was certainly made in Switzerland. So, the only things I know about Switzerland, as far as manufacturing goes, of course, is Swiss watches and Swiss chocolate. But they, they obviously make other things. Oh, and I believe... Now I'm getting Switzerland confused with Sweden. No, that's Electrolux. Ugh. Anyway, so hopefully all that we'll be requiring of this Elna press is a bit of a wipe over and I think I might need to buy a new board cover for it and also it has a sponge, a little sponge uh, pad that fits under the board. I might have to buy a new one of those but they are still available they're pretty standard. I think they fit new Elna. You can buy new Elna steam presses and regular presses now. But because this, I think, will be more or less identical to the one I used to play with as a, as a child, I think this is probably the one, it's a model up from the one my mum had. But I think it's virtually the same. Yes, I used to have fun. Didn't do much ironing with it, but I do remember finding it quite fascinating. Used to collect a lot of Hoover vacuum cleaner brochures back in the day and if they became a bit creased, used to shove them in the Elna press but not with it on. I used to put things in that I wanted to flatten out. Used to put them in the Elna press overnight and they would be nice and flat in the morning. Oh dearie me, this is a, this is a faff. It never ceases to amaze me the sort of packaging people come up with. I'm used to opening stuff by now. This is from um, eBay. This, from, this is from a company that specialises in house clearances. So the original owner of this may have passed on. Oh, 
Oh dear me. That's a lot of bubble wrap. I don't want to risk scratching anything if it's might be scratched already, but yeah. I think just a, a bit of a clean with some cream cleaner, a bit of a polish up. That's pretty pretty good actually. I mean it's that big, it's hard to damage. They're quite a heavy thing. But when you, uh, yeah, a bit, bit of uh, dust, that really, if you consider the size of that compared to storing your ironing board and a separate iron, it's not that, that's how you'd store it, you see. I've got a place in my uh, cloakroom that that will slide into. But, yeah. Now, I wonder if it's got the, oh, it has. I thought that would be missing. It has a little key here, look. Does it come out? Yes, it comes out. Ah, oh, they haven't locked it, but I remember that little key from my childhood. And you used to put that in and, oh dear, I don't want to, oh! Oh, it doesn't seem to work. I think I've done something. That key was supposed to lock the press to stop inquisitive hands from opening it. It looks, I think it could be the same model, you know. But I did notice on the um, eBay listing when it was switched on that this panel illuminated. And I'm not sure if my mum's had that illuminated panel. This is uh, this says Elna Press Electronic on it. Precision made in Switzerland. I think all, all my mum's had was this dial and the pilot light. But all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the... Uh, condition it will clean up nicely this section here is for storing the cable the cable will come clean it's a bit grubby but I bought some cream cleaner which I'll use to clean up this and I might use some metal cleaner on the actual heating plate but that goes into there for storage but yeah it's just just how I remembered it with a handle yes I will replace that I don't fancy putting any of my clothes on there so I will buy a new cover I might hmm, I might get away with not having to replace the sponge part actually but it doesn't feel very spongy at all I probably will Oh, it smells though. Yeah, that's the heating plate, heating element under there. You just about see. That will need a good clean. Then I'll polish it up. But yeah, I'm going to. I nearly bought um, a new cover and a sponge pad before this arrived. But I thought, oh no, let's wait and see. But it is how I thought it would be. Definitely needs replacing. But this... This is certainly the original colour of the one my mum had. You can, I can probably wash that. I might try that first. The ones you can buy now are, you can either get a blue, I've only seen a blue or a, a green one. But um, yeah, I remember it being cream. So there we have it, an Elna press. Take a bit of getting used to, different way of ironing. There are several online videos, but basically you just turn turn the dial to the setting. There's no markings on the actual dial. I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure the one my mum had 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 like the dot markings of an iron, but on this one, well, we'll plug it in now and we'll see. I think this one will tell you the setting on the panel here. I'll do a close up of this. But all in all, I'm really pleased with the condition of it. It's just going to need cream cleaner to clean it all up and a bit of polish on the um, sole plate, maybe a Brillo. Actually, there's some very slight rust marks on this metal part here. But all in all, I'm really pleased with it. As long as it works. Oh, that takes me back. That action. I'm glad I've gone for this. 
I'm sure it will be a lot better than the ones you buy now. I think Elna, I mean, I think, I'm sure this still works now. So uh, we'll plug it in. Plugs into here. It says Geneva, Switzerland on it. It's 1200 watts. That plugs in. I expect it's going to smell. Yeah, I will, I will put a new plug on that. A new modern plug, just to be safe. But for the purpose of the video, I will do a demo of this. You will see it all cleaned up with new uh, cover and pad. And uh, I'll see about doing some ironing on my kitchen table with it. This is, uh, yes, definitely more fancy than my mum's. Where are you off to, madam? Where do you think you're going? Right. I did notice when I turned it on. Watch. Yeah. <gasps> Lovely. So, has the traditional dot markings. We've got nylon, silk, wool and cotton. Oh! Oh, Bl oh blimey O'Reilly. <laughs> oh, I've had the fright of me. I've had the fright of my life, Daisy. Oh, get away from it, it's hot. Sniffing it. Silly dog, well it won't. No, it hasn't started heating up yet. Get your nose out. Oh, my poor heart. I can't take that. Yes, right. I think what's happened, I'm hoping, it's because I left it down. I'm sure my mums didn't have that alarm. I think that's a safety thing. See, look, when you turn it up, I mean, that is very mechanical, that, that little thing there. That's a mechanical slide. It must have a light behind and then a black bar must slide along. I don't know. I'll just put it on that. I think that's what's happened, you know. Phew! <laughs> Made me jump out of my skin. When it's reached temp, I'm assuming, I've no instructions, I'm assuming that that light will go out. Yeah, it's warming up. <laughs> oh, dearly me. Yeah. You see, if I was to leave it, I think it will do it again. I don't know how, how it must, maybe after 30 seconds or something. There you go. Oops. I'll be ready for it next time. Oh, <laughs> oh God! I thought <laughs> I thought I'd be ready, but I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, my mum's never made that noise. I would have remembered that as a child. Definitely would would have remembered that. So yes, it's got that buzzer and it's got this extra display, but the, the main machine, the main basic thing is the same. Yeah, that's going to work nice. I can't wait to use it when it's cleaned. So there you go, Elna Press Electronic Precision Made in Switzerland. Don't want to get burnt. I've, yeah, it's heating up. I'll, I'll turn it off. Um, you know, yeah, it's a bit smelly. Just a sort of a, a burning dust smell. What's going to say? I've, seen, I've forgotten. Um, yes. Well, I'm going to. Um, it'd be nice. I don't bother ironing normally because most of my clothes don't need ironing. But it will be nice to iron some things with it. I'm going to iron my bedding and things using this. My mum, my dad bought one of these home for my mum in the seventies when she had to look after four boys and my dad. She did a lot of washing and ironing. But she went back to a traditional iron. I don't know how long she kept this for. But I think she'll be interested to see this when she comes around. I'll say, here, Mum, look at this. Remember this? She doesn't remember things that I remember. She doesn't, she doesn't remember the washing machines or vacuum cleaners she's owned. Even when I show her a picture, sometimes she remembers. And I say, do you remember that? I think she'll remember this because she would have spent many hours at the kitchen table <laughs> doing this. Readjusting. Pressing. My dad worked in um, catering, and so he probably got one cheaper, I don't know, from some catering supplier, supplier of uh, 
equipment like this but the fact it still works you know it's another quality item yeah I'm really pleased I didn't spend up to 200 pounds on a modern one because I think this will do just as good a job it exerts I think about 45 kilogram pressure I can't convert that to pounds but it's quite a lot of pressure onto the garments to iron them fantastic well that's it the Elna Press it's given me two semi heart attacks but I'm really pleased with it for 40, 45 pounds obviously it's going to cost me over 30, nearly 30 pounds for the new bits but anyway it's worth it I'm really pleased with that thanks for watching thought I'd show you something a bit different some of you might be interested in this and uh, I might combine it with a washing machine video might do a little bit of washing in my AEG and then show you actually that would be good for you washing machine fans I could do a condensed video showing some clothes being washed then tumble dried and then ironed that'd be fun for some of you okay that's it bye for now